Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. The musical Spring Awakening is back on Broadway with the Deaf West Theatre production under the direction of Michael Arden. And we're here on opening night to celebrate with the company. Congratulations, Broadway debuts for both of you. How do you feel? Fucking incredible. That's what it is. I mean, it's a dream come true. What else can I say? I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to keep making it happen. It's been, it's a wonderful feeling. Um, I mean, I, in, in a way, it doesn't feel right. I feel like I've cheated my way into this. Um, I don't know who let me on that stage tonight. I, I hope that I you know, did them justice. Um, I, um, I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Um, you know, I'm with my family and that's what it feels like to me. I, I'm, I'm with a family and I'm in a story and we're, we're having fun and we're experiencing that together and, and I mean that's all I feel right now. I just, I feel loved by my family. Well, welcome back to Broadway. Thank you. How does it feel tonight? I'm um, incredible. I mean, we we did this somehow. We like built this little scrappy show in a basement in Los Angeles for like three dimes, um, and now in a year's time, we've opened on Broadway. <laughs> so it's surreal and incredible, and it makes me feel like there are no rules and I can do anything. So you know, it's a good feeling. Oh, that's a great feeling. <laughs> yeah. You know, I told Michael, this is not a revival, it's a reinvention. It's oh, a whole new vision that. of this show. You love this show for the very first day, do. don't you? I do, I love this show. I think it's so um, timeless and entertaining, um, if nothing else, and, um, and just beautiful. And so I'm glad it's back in any form, but I'm especially glad it's back in this form. And I'm glad Deaf West is back. I loved Big River so intensely. Um, when I saw it, I had never seen anything like it. It totally blew my mind. And then I spent every year thinking, like, where's the next one? Like, when can I see more deaf theater? And um, so and now you're a part of it. And now I'm a part of it. It's my honestly, like, the, the, I'm every day Saturday. I couldn't be happier. What was it like for you on opening night, sitting through this? Well, I could only sit through the first act, and then I got too nervous and I had to pace. But it was remarkable. I was just. So overwhelmed with joy and pride. I'm so proud of these these actors. I, I'm getting to watch them grow as performers and as people over the past year and a half. It's really a family that we've created. I mean, we sort of were joking about Andy and I, are, who were inviting to our wedding. We're like, well, we should just get married tonight because all our closest friends are here. Um, it's, it's really astounding, and I'm just so proud of the work they're doing and the fact that people are responding the way they are. Is, is, is a dream come true. You look stunning. Thank you. How do you feel tonight? It's Amazing. Broadway opening, Spring Awakening. Yeah, I feel like I've done this before. Broadway opening of Spring Awakening. Um, it's amazing. It's so wonderful to be here. I am so proud of my cast. They're just, you know, having the time of their lives as well. And it's so fun as me, who's, it's not my first time to watch everybody experience everything for the first time. It's just, it's amazing. I feel like everyone's mom. <laughs> you had 23 Broadway yeah. debuts tonight. Yeah. Yeah. They were like, everybody step forward, but three people I tonight, know. right? I know. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. It was, it, we knew it was such a, going to be such a powerful moment. And so we were all looking forward to when they announced, you know, they said, step forward if it's your Broadway debut. So, I mean, aside from that, we have like people who have never heard a sound or in a musical. And, and Ali is the first person in a wheelchair to be on Broadway. It's just amazing how many firsts there are. Uh, it feels great. We really, really had a wonderful audience feeding us all night. That amazing energy coming from the audience as we performed just radiated onto the stage and it was great. Of course, as a woman, I want to say that I'm very sensitive and emotional and I was trying my best to keep my tears under control because it was beyond amazing, beyond incredible. I, I, I know, I mean, I just have to say that. Now, before previews, I, I thought, all right, you know, we're, we're it's, you know, it was good, but opening night, there's just something. It means a lot to me. It means so much, you know, to be a part of the Spring Awakening cast. Yes, yes, it is, because, I, and we have to say, Michael Arden, our director, he got us together before the show tonight, 
and he said to every one of us, look, you know, look at each other. We got in a big circle, we were eye to eye, just looking at each other, and don't forget where we started, you know, and don't forget why we're here. We're here to inspire people. And it was, it was an awesome moment. And we have a story to tell. Yes, yes. This is really magical. You've done some incredible things in your life, but this is really special, isn't it? Yeah, this is a really, really special moment for me. I I never knew if this was going to happen, you know, there's never been anybody in a wheelchair on Broadway and, and it's happen, it's happening right now and, it, and it's really, really special to me. A lot of it has to do with your director, Michael Arden, his take on the show, the way he cast the show, his vision of the show. What was it like working with Michael? Michael is a genius and I am honored to work with him and I feel so supported and loved. Um, through I have through this entire process and working with this company oh, this company is the best I learned sign language and I've met so many beautiful people and I feel like I have gained a second family it is opening night how do you feel tonight I'm pinching myself I can't believe I just got stepped off a Broadway stage on opening night I've been here for two months in New York City, in beautiful New York City, and it's happening, it's happening, it's definitely real. I'm a Broadway actor. Wow. <laughs> when you, tonight at the circle, they said everybody who's making their Broadway debut, step forward. Everybody step forward but three people. Was that amazing? It's so funny because I said, come here, come here, come here, be part of it. And they said, no, 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 we've been here before. And we're like, okay, fine. <laughs> All right. We're the newbies. We're the new people on the block. But uh, it really hit me because watching those three who weren't part of the debuts, I, I thought, my goodness, it's really an honor to be able to work with you, you who have been on the Broadway stage, you who we can learn from. It, it's just a great cast. I really can't tell you how proud I am of everyone. And to be able to be involved in this, it really is. I can't. It is opening night. You guys are phenomenal. How do you feel tonight? Daniel says, uh, uh, I feel so honored to be on Broadway. I feel so it's overwhelmed, yes, excited. And a after the final bow, that's when all the emotions came up. I mean, uh, I just sort of look back at all the hard work we did to get here. And I'm so proud to be here as an actor on Broadway. And for you? I mean, dreams coming true left and right all night and uh, for the last month and for the last six months of my life with this show. So just the culmination of all of that and also relief. Relief. We're, we're, we're very tired and it feels really good to finally be like, we're set. We can, we can do the show. <laughs> Ready to drop. <laughs> and to work together. Yes, working together. It's been a long process. We have to work together to make sure our lines are on in sync and the music is on beat and it's been fun. It's really been fun. I mean every, every day we go off stage and after I'm finished with whatever it is I'm doing we'll meet up. He'll say like well, how was the speed? Was I too fast? Was I too slow? Like, And I'll be like everything was perfect until this one part and then at this one part you can go faster because I think the joke will land more and, and things like that. It's I don't even think about how nuts it is what we're doing, but it, it, it's, it's crazy. It is opening night. How do you feel tonight? I feel incredible. I feel like this is a culmination of the last year and a half of our cast working, starting from a 99 seat theater and here we are on Broadway. So it's an amazing experience. It's got to be so surreal for you because I'm sure you had the best time out there in this little teeny tiny theater and now you're on Broadway. Yeah, I mean that experience was really, uh, you know, a once in a lifetime. We didn't know what we had. We didn't. You know, we knew we had something magical, but we didn't know that it would take us all the way to this, you know, this stage here at the Brooks Act. And so, um, yeah, all in all, I mean, this, this last year has been a whirlwind and I couldn't have asked for a better group of people, a better creative team. 
Yeah. Working with your director, Michael Arden, and this beautiful company of actors, what is meant to you? It's meant, it's really changed my life, and I, I mean that, you know, as genuinely as, you know, I really mean that. This whole experience, interacting with a community I'd never had an experience with before, um, it's deepened my, my communication skills, my, you know, I'm a writer, I'm a songwriter, it's deepened my, you know, my, my whole thinking about lyrics and, you know, what, what do I, what am I putting out there into the world? It's, it's totally changed my, my world. Michael is a genius. I've never seen deaf theater like this in my life, and I've seen quite a bit. And uh, it is, I don't like to say deaf theater. It is so accessible to everyone. All of my friends are like, I don't know, am I going to get it? And I'm like, you're not only going to get it, you're going to get it double and triple time because you've got so many all, so much more sensations going on for you to feast your eyes on. You know, I asked Patrick Page what the best part of the experience was when we were talking about you get to play your role and you get to be the voice of Marley. He loves doing that for Russell. What is that journey like for you? Well, it's... It's so interesting because if you are doing it right, when you're voicing for a deaf person, you're really following the intention of them. So I'm not acting it. I'm lending her my voice and following as closely as I can the spirit of what she's trying to convey to you. So it's a whole nother acting exercise entirely. When I get to do my parts, I'm acting for me. I'm making my own choices. When I'm speaking for her, she's making the choices. I'm speaking, in a way, it's a burden lifted and another burden put right on because you want to do it right and live up to their expectation. It's flawless what you do. When you took your bow tonight, Broadway debut, do you remember what you were thinking? I was thinking, I was looking at my son in the second row who's 14 years old, six foot tall. He stood up smiling at me and I, I almost lost it. I just looked at him and thought, you are my best production and I love you more than anything in the entire yeah. world and I I am grateful to the moon and back. It is opening night. How do you feel tonight? Amazing. Amazing. Happy. Really, finally, we're at opening night. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's been a long journey of a year. It's been a whole year. Yeah, yeah. I can't believe that. It, it's really, we've gone from a 99 seat house to Broadway in one year. I, it's unbelievable. And that just doesn't happen. Okay. It just doesn't happen. Broadway debuts. What was today like for both of you leading up to tonight? Uh, okay, we did Gypsy Robe celebration. I cried. I have to tell you, I cried. I cry for everything, I have to be honest, but this one was unexpected. Uh, I just felt, uh, it was just amazing. It was an amazing feeling. So many people have made this, yeah. have made their Broadway debut in this show. So it is it's like 20 of us on stage, you know, it, it's, we're there, we're, it's exci exciting. You know, the cast came together, right, a circle, and one man said, all of the Broadway debuts, please step in the center of the circle. And there were three people left outside the circle. You know, we all stepped in. That means a lot to me because I'm with a family that understands. We all get it. We're here together. So here we are. It is opening night. How do you feel tonight? I feel very humbled by it. You know, it's a wonderful thing. It's an ensemble show. And so we all have just our little piece that we're doing. I mean, obviously there are those great leads, you know, Melchior and Vendla and things. But I, I feel very humbled by it and by the audience's reaction to it. And I'm very grateful to Michael Arden for inviting me to be part of it. So what has this whole journey been like for you working on this? It's such an education and such a life-opening experience. You know, the name of the play is Spring Awakening, and I feel like I've been awakened. I'm, I, I'm thinking about these actors who we should be using all the time, you know. And I should be working with Russell Harvard, and I should be working with Daniel Durant, and the fact that this production opens our eyes to that and says, look, here's this talent that you maybe haven't been inviting to your party, 
and here they are and look how extraordinary they are. It's been a real awakening for me. It's a beautiful cast making their Broadway debut. When they took their bows tonight, how do you feel? I felt that this group of people had the right intentions in this situation, working together with deaf and hearing people to create something beautiful that's not just deaf theater, oh, a theater that uses sign language, but no, really it showed off our culture and our language in the best way possible. And as an artistic experience, I'm extremely validated. And working with Michael Arden. Michael is wonderful. We're really fortunate to have him in two previous Deaf West production. He understands our process and how we work. And in, through this developmental process, he's taken us to the next level. And it's been really grateful to see that process.